We are back. And are we the show that brings you sexy cars? No. Are we the show that brings you sexy hair products? No. Are we the show that brings you sexy lingerie? No. Are we the show that brings you sexy gym wear? No. No, we're the show that brings you bottles. Lots of bloody bottles. Steve's idea. Way back in April. Yeah, sorry Gavin Hardcastle, that was a terrible impression. So way back in April, Steve and I decided we needed to up our game and improve the quality of our product. So we decided to do a mock product shoot and we headed to the local hardware store to get some materials. We then headed back to my brand new flat, but before we could start filming, and because it was lockdown, there was something that we needed to do first. And the man who likes to do all the talking, it's over to Steve. Okay, so the shot on the left, if you can see it clear enough, there's a little box that goes down on the bottle. Um, and that box is kind of meant to be our composition. So the idea is the bottle rotates and the shot pans down from the bottle cap and the neck of the bottle down to the bay, to the, well, to the midsection of the bottle where the label is. And that's when it finishes rotating. And we've, um, we've switched this up a little bit because not only are we gonna have that shot, but we're gonna have that shot with multiple bottles changing labels so to show that there's more than one beer within the range. In the research for these shots we knew that we needed some sort of strip light so Steve's got his wand light which we've taped to, it is a very bright there, I apologise I haven't got an ND filter on, but we taped it to the C stand with the Godox Slow as I like to call it, the SL60W light above the bottle and now the lazy Susan with power. We had to cut down on some of the sharpness from this panel light that was behind which is lighting that side of the bottle, the front of the bottle, the side on. So we put up this bounce board and shot through that. And then this one, again, we didn't have a strip light as such. So let's just adjust that so you can see it a little bit better. It's still a bit bright, but we decided to put these two panel lights into portrait mode and stack them on top of each other pretty much with that, those two light stands as such, and then put them on top of each other and then tape them together because they are very, very heavy, those batteries. And that's pretty much our setup. And then obviously, Steve's Sony piece of shit. No, I'm joking. Sony camera taking the shot of the bottle, which is now turning around. Let me just take that down so you can see some of that. And you'll see a very nice blue background in my house. So to get the, the, the chilled effect on the bottle, everybody uh, on the internet can tell you that they use vegetable glycerin that you can get from the supermarket. Uh, 90p from Tesco in the UK, so we found out the other day when we lost them. Um, it is very gloopy and it will get everywhere. So we found, we had to experiment a little bit. We didn't have a spray bottle, but we did have this lens pen with the, the spraying, a spare one that we, we could use that. I would say three parts water, one part glycerin in there, but be careful because it does go everywhere. And we get kind of like the trickling water effect running down the bottle while we're filming it. And that's it. So that's that shot. So now we need to move on to the next one. Oh yeah, last thing. Try and make sure there's no ambient light in the room because bottles reflect every source of light. In all honesty, we probably should have shut that door, but I can't see it in the shot. When it comes to editing, we might. I think that means it's time for a Peter McKinnon-esque cinematic break, busy man style.
I ate all mine the other day. Yeah, no, this is yours. Yeah, that, no, I ate my ones. No, but this is yours. That's the one I gave you. Yeah, it makes it right. yours. Okay. But, um, so I blank it? Well, will that, will that trigger people if I don't? So, so, will it, <sighs> sorry. I guess you could say Steve's making a clean break. Clean break, get it? I don't know why they bother. So back to the storyboard we go, and the next few shots are taken from above the bottle as we watch the bottle cap being taken off, flying up into the air, landing and spinning on the table. That of course was the easy part. The bottle top spinning, not so much. Steve and I took turns to flip the bottle top, to drop the bottle top, but nothing seemed to work. We even tried gluing it to a piece of Perspex. That didn't turn out well. Eventually, we got the shot. And all that was left to do was pour the drink, add a little special effects magic, and the job was a good one. So there we go, I think job well done. That is one product shoot, Darren. And many more to go. Many more to go. So that is it from the Busy Man's Guide with me, Mr. Paul Adams and him. Steve Richmond. And remember, stay sharp, stay focused and stay busy. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. That's disgusting. That's not bad. You don't like it. That's actually quite nice. That's right, it was just for the camera. <laughs>